Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain you class 12 CBSC poem uh, Aunt Jennifer's Tigers composed by Adrian Rich. So let me quickly tell you about the poetess Adrian Rich. So Adrian Rich, she was born on 16th May 1929 in Baltimore and she was died on 27th March 2012 in California. So she's known for uh, her uh, feminist ideas and uh, she was deeply involved in women's movement uh, as a poet and as a theorist. So in her poems, uh, she has presented the spectrums of the problems faced by women in general. So in this present poem, Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, the poetess ex addresses the experiences of marriage that chains and binds a woman in this male dominating society. So this is a feminist poem based on Aunt Jennifer's struggle to find her own identity. She is married with Uncle uh, Jennifer and she is not happy with her married life because of the dominating nature of her husband. So she is deprived of the freedom. Uh, she cannot do anything with her own wish. So she finds herself uh, in chains everywhere. She finds herself in cage everywhere because all her freedom is snatched after her marriage. So she is terrified. She is suffocated. And as she cannot do anything with her own wish, so... Uh, you know to express her feelings and emotions and her thoughts so she chose an, an alternate world and that world is her art so uh, she started knitting embroidering so she learns uh, embroidery and through that embroidery she expresses her emotions feelings and thoughts so <clears throat> let's uh, move to the first stanza of the poem uh, aunt jennifer's tiger's prints across a screen bright topaz denizen of a world of green they don't fear the man beneath the tree they pace in sleek chivalric certainly so Aunt Jennifer's Tiger's Prince. Prince here means jump. And across a screen means jumping from one side to another. Here, bright topaz. Topaz is a precious stone, uh, you know, usually used in the jewelry. Uh, just like I'm wearing a topaz ring. It is of yellow color stone. Denizen here means native. Residents. World of green here means jungle, forest. They do not fear the man beneath the tree. They pace. They walk in a chivalric. Chivalric means in a brave manner. Certainly. So what is the meaning of this stanza? The meaning of this stanza is that uh, Aunt Jennifer uh, embroiders tigers on a uh, you know canvas and uh, the, these are called Aunt Jennifer's tigers why they are called Aunt Jennifer's tiger because she is the creator of those tigers they are not the real tigers but they are the embroidered tigers that is why they are called Aunt Jennifer's tigers so they are Aunt Jennifer's tigers prance across a screen. Aunt Jennifer's tigers seems that they are jumping from one side to another. And they are the yellow colors. They are brownish yellow colors tigers and who live in the forest. World of green means the forest. Or you can say the background of her, uh, you know, uh, that tapestry where, where she is 
you know embroidering the tigers is green the background of that is green so they do not fear the man beneath the tree and they these tigers are not afraid of the man who are standing beneath the tigers they pace in a sleek shivantic certainly so these tigers they don't fear with anyone they are they are tigers are you know considered very uh, brave and uh, they are independent they live freely so when they move they move with in a, in a elegant manner so what here you know these tigers represents her dream because aunt jennifer is totally opposite to the tigers she why she uh, you know designed those tigers uh, embroiders those tigers because she wants to be like them she wants to be brave elegant independent she wants to live freely like the tigers because she why she wants because she lives in the constant fear oppression uh, of her husband so these tigers are opposite to her nature because she is meek submissive undecisive and uh, she doesn't have courage to oppose her husband's oppression so this is the meaning of the first stanza so let's move to the second stanza what does it say aunt jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand so in this stanza fluttering so let me tell you what is the meaning of fluttering aunt jennifer's fingers fluttering means trembling aunt jennifer's uh, fingers are trembling and uh, even the ivory needle ivory needle you know needle made of the elephant's tusks and the massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits up heavily upon aunt jennifer's hand so in this stanza aunt jennifer is seen you know designing the beautiful you know images of the tigers but when she is embroidering the tiger she finds the ivory needle hard to pull it is very difficult uh, for her to pull uh, you know to pull the ivory needle so here uh, the what she wants to say because uh, aunt jennifer has seen the extent of uh, operation uh, by her husband in her married life she is uh, you know she is physically mentally and emotionally you know depressed she has seen so much struggle in her life that's why she is uh, burdened with the responsibility that's why she finds that ivory needle hard to pull so and she is wearing the uncle's wedding band or ring you can say uh, at the time of the marriage both aunt jennifer and her, her husband they both exchanged the ring and this ring's burden is too much which she uh, finds it very difficult to carry she is overburdened that that wedding ring has become a burden for her so uh, she, she, that the burden the, the weight of uncle's wedding ba uh, band is so much that she is unable to carry it and she is in this she is not happy with that uh, uh, in this relationship and uh, she is suffocating and this marriage bond is gradually killing her and throttling her so this is the uh, meaning of the second stanza so let's come to the uh, concluding stanza let's see what uh, concluding stanza says 
when aunt is dead her terrified uh, hands will lie still ringed with ordi she was mastered by the tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing proud and unafraid so the third stanza starts with the creeping note of aunt jennifer's death the poem the poem takes a turn here uh the the speaker wo, uh, you know starts imagining what would happen when aunt jennifer will die uh the poet says that even after her death she would not be liberated from the burden of marriage uh from the ordeal oppression and the difficulties you know from which she was facing right from the beginning uh death could not liberate her from all the unhappy memories of the marriage she will uh, unfortunately uh, male will rule her even after her death uh as a tradition she will have to wear that wedding ring even her grave also even after her death she will have to carry her husband's name in her grave also as a tradition so she would not death will also not liberate her so she will to, she will have to carry her husband's name even in the in her coffin de, uh, grave also so thus the poet here wants to say that uh she has lived a curtailed life through her out her life and uh, uh she has not enjoyed the liberated life throughout her li- throughout uh after the marriage and she would die you know without enjoying the freedom so let's come to the concluding line so what does it say uh, the poet wants to say in these lines that although she would be died but her dreams of dreams of liberty freedom individuality would live with her would live in the form of her art in the form of tigers tigers symbolizes you know freedom elegance energy you know bravery so all these things will remain you know in in form of her art which she has made so uh, the the what she simply means that her art would remain even her art would remain long even after her death so children this was the poem aunt jenny first tigers hope you like this children if you like my poem so please like and subscribe to it thank you so much